In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Iroshizuku Tsutsuji Fountain Pen Ink. I'll go over the specs, I will do a ink test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this ink coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink. And as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. Here we have a bottle of Iroshizuku Tsutsuji. Now, I didn't mean to do so many pink inks uh, this close together, but I picked samples at random and Tsutsuji came up. Now, this is not an ink that I've added to my personal collection. I'm just not as much of a pink ink person, but this is a very good ink, so let's let's get into it. That bottle costs $23.75 uh, for 50 milliliters. Very fair price for a premium ink, and I think a, a bottle that looks this pretty is quite good. It's very well behaved. Now, taking a look at the ink test here, I would say that it's a bright pink ink. It has very nice flow to it. I was really impressed with how well this ink writes. There is minimal shading. You do get some green, uh, goldish, I would say goldish green sheen when you really lay down the ink. A bit hard to see here. You do have to lay it down a bit more. Like I can see a tiny bit of sheen with this linea fine and a little bit with this 1.9 millimeter, but I mean, I think you're going to see it more when you're using like a heavier ink flow pen, like a dip pen or something like that. It has, yeah, just a nice saturated look to it. It's pretty easy to clean out of pens. I didn't really have too much difficulty with it. Sometimes the red dyes can be more difficult to get out, but this cleaned out very, very nicely. I'm not personally an, a pink ink fan, but this is quite a, a nice one. So let's talk about the color here. I didn't see a huge difference in color between the Rhodia and the Cosmo Air Light. It appears as a bright pink ink. I think it, it looks pretty good. And of course, it looks the best on Cosmo Air Light because that just really makes it, it pop. But I don't see any weird color changes like we sometimes get on bank paper. So none of that there. Let's do the live writing. Start with a Kakimori pen nib and secure nib holder. So here we go. This is Hiroshi Tsuku Tsu Tsuji It really it's a pretty ink. It's very vibrant. I not a pink ink person, as I said, but I do like this. Okay, so this is the Kaki Mori Steel Nib. Yeah, very saturated color. And then next we'll do the ruling pen. Strip that again. And then finally, round ornament nib. So this has been dry for several days. We'll just see. There we go. Just try. Okay, we'll let that dry and see how that does. So in terms of the water test, it's definitely not waterproof, but it does hang around a bit better than some other inks. So there is some water resistance there. Now, if we come over here, we can start to see that really crazy sheen like a goldish green sheen it's pretty cool looking but you don't really see it too much in normal writing and of course because this is cosmo light there's no bleeding 
It's amazing paper. The other thing, I did a dry time test and I have somehow misplaced that sheet, but basically this ink, it dried on all three papers that I tested, Rhodia, Cosmo Air Light, and Bank Paper in under 30 seconds. So I put that right in the average well-behaved category. You know, it's not a fast dryer, but it's not a, it doesn't take a long time either. It's average, which is very good for, I think, a ink that is so saturated and well lubricated. What are my pros and cons for the Tsutsuji fountain pen ink? Well, <laughs> I think if you like pink ink, this is the best pink ink that I've used so far. It is a bright pink. It is very well lubricated. It writes really, really nicely. I found that it is pretty easy to clean out of my pens. Now, the pens that have a red dye do tend to be a little bit more difficult, but this one came out really nicely. It's only, I think, just under $24 for 50 milliliters, and you get this beautiful bottle. I just think that this Hiroshi Zuku line is one of the best fountain pen ink lines out there. It's just one of the best values, one of the best performers. Now, in terms of cons, it's bright pink ink. I randomly picked this out of a grouping of Hiroshi Zuku inks because I want to review all the Hiroshi Zuku inks and landed on a pink again. Not a huge fan of pink ink. If I were to add one to my ink collection, this would be it because it writes so nicely and it does look really quite nice. Okay, that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this ink? Do you like this ink? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much and until next time.